Maybe I should just say all protocol observed. Because as you know, I just arrived. <laughs> and I think it would be unfair of me if I do not recognize our case of honor. Who brought us here. And I'll just say a few things of the CAF chairman. Because I think the occasion allows that. I've asked the team to send what was scripted. I met Peter uh, immediately after our appointment. And it was one of the longest meetings, Kenzan, Nakens. It was one of the longest meetings followed by the meeting with the chairman. And one discussion we've had was too long, given his history and the background, to use him as a barometer, as a testament. Was to express to him my observation about his, the, the quality of football as well as the status of football. Now, compared to where he comes from. And express my observation to him. But the discussion was more what needs to be done. Uh, appreciating where he comes from. And I think some of you will know Pizzo as was speaking here. He got emotional because he knows what sport has done to change his life. And I'll give an example why he got emotional, Chairman. Growing from a township where I come from, as you know, Chairman, I think you know where I come from. The role of sport. We built a similar court like this in a place called Hederfeld and Manningberg in Cape Town. Now those who know Cape Town, those two areas is called Cape Flats. It's Kens, it's like We took the same community following weeks because the communities of Cape Town are divided by a railway line. A colored community and African community. We took the same communities to calculate across the railway line. Act like this how much they were appreciating what we have done to their community a week later, earlier. They say our children, all of a sudden, on weekends everywhere, we find them in those courts. And it has reduced the levels of criminality and gangs in Manenberg and Hinterfeld. Mm -hmm. I make this point, Chairman, because sometimes when you talk about football, we think, we think about entertainment and winning the game. There's a role of sport beyond that. About nation building, building communities, beyond winning. And that is a power of sport that we have not lifted up. During Peter's time, I'm sure during your time too, Jen, we understood that it was a time where almost our country was so depressed, we were divided along color lines. We used sport, which was not recognized, including football, to unite our people. Uh, I was saying to some of the younger players of another team, including Mbumi. I said there was a time when we used to go with FNB. Supporters could not miss, could not mix. You were sitting as one of the parents, or case I that side. You crossed the line, your head is dead. <coughs> it was through the leadership of the chairman and many others before him that we were able to use sport to realize that it's not about you, it's about the nation. Which is why NetBank and, uh, and, and Barrett is not about your supporters. You don't only look at your supporters as Orlando Barrett. You look at Orlando Barrett as a builder, as a contributor and the instrument of nation building. So when young players of Orlando Barrett enter the field, they must understand Yes, they've got to win because there's a chairman we're expecting results. But on one hand, they inspire young, young boys. They are building and making a contribution to nation building. And sometimes I said to Peter when he spoke, I see in some of the players that element is missing of being an instrument of nation building using on field. <laughs> And these are the conversations, Chairman, sometimes. I miss you. I know it's not easy to find you. You know these days, just yesterday, I was dealing with a matter which I learned from you, quite interestingly. History is a way to repeat itself. I was very young, with a secretary called Manula, and there was an issue between yourself, PSL, SAPC, and so on, and multi-choice. We went for you in public.
some cash then. We don't know what was happening. Years later, he still reminds me of that issue. It's so interesting that I'm now a minister, I'm confronted. I remember to you yesterday that why we have not resolved the issue when I was young, I dealt with the issue with the chairman. And I think there's an issue there, chairman, you can give us lessons as a country. And I think to all corporates must join NetBank because government on its own to honor these legends who are truly an inspiration in icons, remarkable individuals who are themselves role models and people. It's rare to find them. We come from a time where criminals and gangs were role models in communities. We come from communities. The ones I mentioned in, in Cape Flats. Gangs and criminals are role models to young gangs. That's why when we celebrate one of us with positive attributes, we must celebrate and say, big ups. We must inspire others like you to do more. Because only through sport, we can contribute to our national identity, to our national symbols, to our national social cohesion. And I think the role of sport sometimes is not really um, recognized by all of us as leadership. And one of the people, I must say, uh, inspires me in terms of how he understands the role of sport. It's somebody called Panya Panya. I work with a lot of premiers, but one premier who inspires me of what needs to be done is this young chap sitting next to me. You call him a premier. It's a young chap. <laughs> I am inspired with his appreciation of sport, and I would want to call on him and many others to join the band. Thank you very much, Kenzan. <laughs> with little contribution you make, if you change one life, well, in an African definition of a family, you don't know what you do. You're making an impact to a family of 10 people by changing one life. Bitso is an embodiment of inspiration of a young boy from Ezola. They look up to Bitso. His success is not a success of him. It's a success of some boy sitting somewhere who, who, who's hopeless about future. And we must celebrate these individuals because on their own, they're making contribution. It's unfortunate that uh, Jiggles, you landed this morning, they are leaving this morning. We celebrate you for that. But next week, Chairman, we are convening a sports in the school sport in Daba. Something that will herald a new history, a revolution in sport in this country. I want him to make a contribution. Because one of the conversations I had with you and him was what best do we do to improve our national teams? We discussed the academies. But one of the things we need to do, take our young players to join academies in Europe, to be the best players. And him, coming from running some of the best academies, I would want him next week, whether via Zoom or whatever, to make an input in that endeavor. Because I recognize the contribution we have made to the development of sport in this country. I want him to give, I want us to give him a big round of applause. I don't want to make an assumption that uh, that which we are celebrating today uh, is a prediction of yet to come in terms of the uh, MTN. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I watched, I watched uh, all of the parents uh, when you played. I saw some determination. And I, I love the spirit, Chairman. And I think there's something that you said. Whether it's Mbou Mi, Trump, but there's something that you said. When you see Edmund Statham coming from Cape Town as I do, picked as it is, something is giving hope to the people of Western Cape. And that hope is true football. We must continue to inspire others. Which is why I'm saying players may not appreciate the 12th player, but the 12th player is on the field to recognize and to be inspired by these players. When you see Loftus, when you see uh, Lucas Moripe, when you see FNB, Pet, it's not just people abroad. There's an inspiration and a hope that gives them to attend those games. We want to thank you and make sure that more corporates, they come and support these efforts. Thank you very much. All the best to you.